What is good, Nation? It's Stock J back with another video. And in this one, I'm going to be talking about the one only AMC stock and something an expert known as Peter Han just said about AMC and why he still believes in the MOAS, why he's telling us that this is not the end for AMC. This thing still has insane squeeze potential and we are getting closer and closer by the days. Now, before I talk about who Peter Han is, what he still just said about AMC, as we are going to actually look at some updates because I'm not going to show you old things, I'm going to show you the new stuff. Before I talk about any of that, I do have to mention some very important things. First, the first thing is I'm not a financial planner, so please do not take this as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this. It not only benefits me, it benefits the entire Ape community as a whole. And the last thing is if you guys can, please check out the Mumu link down below and in the description. If you do sign up for Mumu and deposit $100, you're not only going to qualify for up to five free stocks, each worth up to $3,500, but you're also going to get a free Neo share if you check out the offer down below. So, with that out of the way, guys, let's get on with the video. So, looking at amc obviously it's a little bit in the green and we did get that bounce that we were talking about in a previous video amc did hit that low point around the 14 dollar range and it did drop pretty hard but then very recently we did start to see a big bounce after 1438 and it is looking a little bit better but here's the thing about these numbers these are low numbers i know that and i know some apes are very concerned and afraid but you have to remember in a squeeze play the numbers don't matter right the shorts still not haven't covered the margin calls aren't here yet they are starting to show here and there but they're not full on out quite yet and i do see the current market situation given what's happening to oil what's happening to inflation it's really setting us up for a very good run in the future in my opinion now I can give financial advice, but there is one man who can actually do that, or at least in the past he has been able to, and his name is Peter Hahn, CFA. He's a finance professional. So let's go a little bit down. Actually, let's look at his qualifications real quick. Obviously, he went to the University of British Columbia, and going a little bit down, you guys can see his experience right here. He worked as a fixed income portfolio manager. He's an, he was an associate director in global banking and markets, so he has been doing a lot of research on the stock market, and he understands what he's talking about. He's a professional and he also has years of experience over 25 years of experience now look at what he just said involving amc he mentioned something very important just a couple of days ago he stated the danger of setting moas dates just as i thought it was going to be all right i find out i'm wrong when i thought i was right i could say day you could say night tell me it's black when i know that it's white always the same it's just a shame that's all so what he's trying to tell you guys is don't set any particular dates for the moas see he's implicitly stating that it's going to happen he also said explicitly that he does see a squeeze for amc but he's letting you guys know that look there are crazy things going on in the market and this is not the time to just be depending on one particular date when it squeezes it squeezes you just gotta wait it out i also want to show you guys this right here I think right over here, he actually replied to someone that asked him about what's going on with AMC. This just happened a few hours ago, and this makes me very excited. So let's talk about what he first said. He stated that currency lesson, inflation and lower trade in the USA is negative, right, in our USD. But in times of a financial instability, people rush to USD. Why? Because many nations borrow in USD and are worried about the cost of debt servicing going up. So USD goes up in stability, and it basically occurs to bring the stability and then it crashes hard so he's basically anticipating the fact that we may see a higher nominal gdp going into the future or the nominal interest rates may end up going up because of that right in economic terms so people stated that look I think a lot of people are just taking advantage of the situation, hiking up their prices, thus worsening and creating more inflation. It certainly is contributing, right? And then somebody asked him, oh, Peter, what's going on with AMC? And he stated this, hold, hold between the market volatility and the SEC regulations and the DOJ investigations, things are coming to a head. Could be days, weeks, or months still, but this 100% share utilization and high known short interest can't be maintained in this kind of market. In other words, he's saying the squeeze is coming and you have to be patient. Right now, we're kind of tied up in the middle of the SEC. There are potential regulations that may be coming out or enforced very soon. 
We're also seeing crazy things in the market. Uh, President Joe Biden, I think he just announced that uh, the U.S. is not going to be uh, importing any more oil from uh, Russia, at least for the time being. And that's going to be it's going to have an effect. So we, we'd like to see how he really changes policy from there. It, it, maybe the U.S. could become more energy independent. I really hope so. But we'll really see how that goes. But what I'm trying to say is all these factors are really contributing to us seeing a very unstable financial system. And as a result, it's going to increase the odds of margin calls coming and making things a lot more strict. So he's basically saying that these kinds of numbers can't be maintained forever. The shorts are doing what they can to maintain it. They're trying to keep AMC down for as long as they can, but they can't do it forever because we do see transparency regulations getting closer to being enforced. We're seeing the DOJ getting involved. I mean, it's just a matter of time, guys. You just got to be patient. And the expert is telling you to hold hold, don't sell, don't give up. The squeeze is imminent. He also stated this right here. So people in the past were talking about the fact that uh, AMC does not need to be debt fee, debt free, excuse me, to issue a dividend. Not all debt is bad in a business. I strongly believe goods things are coming very soon. So guys, remember that because a dividend is going to change everything. Now, even though we don't know what type of dividend it's going to be, Peter Hahn agreed and said, AMC was desperate when they were desperate for funding, they would accept covenants like that. As profitability returns, they can issue more new debt and they're basically refinancing, right? By retiring more restrictive uh, debt. And that's going to be very good for the company. And on turn, this means the important thing if they're profitable for long enough, they can issue a dividend, which they most likely will. And when they do that, it's going to destroy the shorts. It's going to destroy them. The narrative, their ability to make it short, it's going to be crazy. And that, in my friends, is what may even lead us to the MOAS very soon, which is why you just got to be patient. Patience is key. He also stated this right here. It's another more lyrics from a song because he likes to do this. He stated, hey now, hey now, don't dream it's over. Uh, hey now, hey now, when the world comes in, they come, they come to build a wall between us. We know they won't win. Do you understand that? The hedge funds, the shorts are using the mainstream media to try to get to us, to try to divide us. They're trying to stop us from dreaming. But we know they won't win. Remember that, guys. I know this is a reference for AMC. And he has explicitly stated in the past that the squeeze is coming. He does believe there's going to be a MOAS, but it's just going to take a matter of time. So anyways, for this video, I just want to put it out there that, look, there are all sorts of experts on both sides of the aisle that have said, you know, all sorts of things. But based off what Peter Hahn has been saying, not only is he very credible, not only does he have lots of experience, but he's also full of merits because his rationalization has lots of legitimacy to it. So I do agree with his rationalization. I agree with a lot of the things he has been saying. He is correct about almost everything, essentially. And he's correct about the fact that, look, shorts can keep this up forever. The squeeze is imminent. We just have to be patient. Anyways, that's what I have for this one. I want to thank each and every one of you for listening. And remember something, AMC is still primed for a big run. As long as the share price doesn't go to zero, this thing can squeeze to the absolute moon. It does not matter where the share price is right now. You just got to be patient. Anyways, I thank you for listening. Have a great rest of the day. AMC is very manipulated, but it's not going to last forever, guys. I have all my faith in this company. I have not lost faith, and we are going to win. I thank you, and peace out.